Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Today, we will announce the Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. This prize is financed by the Central Bank of Sweden, awarded by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, and included in the Nobel Prize ceremony. The first prize was awarded in 1969 to Ragnar Frisch and Jan Tinbergen, and it is now being awarded for the 50th time. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating an anniversary with half a century of economics prizes. My name is Jordan Hansson. I'm the Secretary General of the Academy, and with me here at the podium is, to my right, the Chairman of the Prize Committee, Professor Per Strömberg, and on my left, uh, Professor uh, Per Krusell, who is a member of the Prize Committee and who will tell us more about the research that's being awarded today. This year's prize is about innovation, climate and economic growth. Årets pris handlar om innovation, klimat och ekonomi i växelverkan. Kungliga vetenskapsakademin har idag beslutat att utdela Sveriges Riksbanks pris i ekonomisk vetenskap till Alfred Nobels minne för år 2018 med ena hälften till William D. Nordhaus för att ha integrerat klimatförändringar i långsiktig makroekonomisk analys och med andra hälften till Paul M. Romer för att ha integrerat teknisk utveckling i långsiktig makroekonomisk analys. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has today decided to award the Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel for 2018, with one half to William D. Nordhaus for integrating climate change into long-run macroeconomic analysis, and the other half to Paul M. Romer for integrating technological innovations into long-run macroeconomic analysis. And you have now some biographical data um, about our new, no new laureates uh, above us here. Dr. William Nordhaus was born in Albuquerque in New Mexico in the United States in 1941 and is currently at Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut in the US. Dr. Paul Romer was born in Denver, Colorado in the United States in 1955. He is currently working at the New York University School of Business and was previously the chief economist of the World Bank. And with that, I'd like to uh, turn over to Per Strömberg, the chairman of the prize committee, to give us some remarks about this year's prize. Thank you. So, the causes and consequences of economic growth uh, is an issue of global importance and long-term implications, because just a few percent of growth can accumulate over decades, and when it does that, it radically changes people's lives. The growth of the economy is determined both by nature which provides the necessary resources for growth, and by the current state of knowledge, which determines how well we can manage these scarce resources that nature provides. But can we really rely on the market economy to keep on generating this new knowledge uh, necessary for long-run sustained growth? And how should we deal with the negative effects of economic growth on nature, uh, for example, the climate change caused by increasing emission of greenhouse gases. This year's laureates have provided us with tools that are crucial for understanding how the economy interacts with nature and with knowledge, uh, and which policies help generate sustained and sustainable long-term economic growth. In the mid-1970s, as natural scientists started to become increasingly worried about the effects of greenhouse gas emissions on the climate, William Nordhaus started studying the interplay between the market economy and the global climate. About 10 years later, in the late 1980s, Paul Romer started to work on trying to formulate a new model of how technologies develop in the market economy. And the models that Nordhaus and Romer um, uh, created have significantly broadened the analysis of economic growth 
and it provided the standard framework for research and policy making in the areas of technological development and climate change. Thank you, Per. Now, Per Krusel, are you ready to give us some background about the research that's being awarded, please? <laughs> 